Wow guys, I got my first decent find here. I'm back to the spot I detected last time and if you have seen the episode uh, you will agree that I found fantastic items there and it seems to continue today. Look at my find. It has to be a medieval buckle. Yes it is. What a beautiful one. Unfortunately, uh, it snapped, but uh, it's still a great find. Take a look at this neat little surface find here. Yeah, I thought so. It's damaged. Yeah. A thimble. I really like to find them. They come in beautiful different sizes, shapes and materials. Uh, sometimes silver even. Yeah, my uh, coil battery is uh, running at low levels. I forgot to recharge it, <laughs> quite annoying. Uh, that's why I keep uh, the speakers off, I hope uh, you don't mind. I have a very nice signal here. I can hear that it's uh, deep down. Yeah, let's see what it is. Yeah, guys, I decided to dig uh, with my hands because I could feel something with my sh uh, shovel. Uh, I thought maybe only a stone, but it could be the find, so I uh, decided to dig with my hands. Wow, guys. I love the color. Boah. Beautiful. Look at this. Got a beautiful shape. Beautiful patina as well. Very ornate. Unfortunately, it's broken and I don't know, but I think I've seen something like this before. Maybe something uh, like a tarot, I don't know, a loop tarot. According to the patina, it could very well be uh, 
ancient and the design is also yeah Romanish <laughs> if you want can't wait to find out what it is Just made another very interesting find here. As you can see, it's bronze, and you can see even a bit of gilt here. Uh, I don't know, um, these gilded objects are uh, medieval most of the times, but this particular item here got a very ancient uh, appearance. I'm not sure, maybe it's uh, medieval, but uh, I could yeah, imagine that this uh, is something from ancient times as well. I hope uh, I will be able to find out. Take a look at this beautiful Roman coin here was close to the surface. This side here is very crusty. So are my fingers, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but uh, as you can see, there's uh, silver on it. It's silver plated. It's a fake denarius. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, of course, they faked money back then too. And this, uh, yeah, should appear like, um, or was meant uh, to appear like a silver coin. But it isn't. Yeah, interesting find. Yeah, quite interesting find again. And I don't know if you can see it, but uh, this find is gilded as well. I'm not sure if it, uh, yeah, if you can see it here on camera. Yeah, but uh, don't know what it could be. Maybe this uh, spot here has a predominantly uh, medieval history, but who knows. Guys, I can't believe it. Something wonderful happened here. In my first ever video, uh, video number one, the Celtic bla bracelet, um, I found a Celtic bracelet there, of course, and uh, it was broken, a part was missing. And I'm sure that I found uh, the missing part now. Take a look at it. It's uh, the same design as uh, the one I found before. Um, it's approximately in the same area um yeah it has to be the missing part um of course there could be other celtic rays here and this could be a fragment from another uh, celtic bracelet um, who knows but i'm pretty sure that this is uh, the missing part of my uh, hallstatt bracelet i found in my first ever video oh what a great day
What a great day. Just found this beauty here. And uh, can you see the cross? I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I can imagine that this is a disc fibula and you can actually see where the mechanism was. You have lumps on the right and on the left side of uh, the item. Yeah, it looks very much like yeah, an early medieval disc fibula. And uh, the cross shape in front is uh, very characteristic for that. This has to be a disc fibula. Stunning find. This has to be another barbaric imitation. You can recognize them not only because of the primitive design. I think the bronze looks different. It's a brighter green, beautiful coins look at the dots and I, I don't know what it uh, <laughs> what it's supposed to be but uh, it simply looks beautiful this is the appearance of ancient coins amazing just found the next coin weight as you can see uh, there's a hallmark on it or uh, a crest or something like that I can see an age I think I hope I will be able to find out uh, what this coin weight is uh, representing what coin Oh, I love these coin weights. These are so beautiful and interesting finds. The only thing that was missing today <laughs> is the Roman silver coin. And here we have it. Uh, you even can see uh, the Emperor's name written here at the side Constantine I think uh, it should be Constantine the oh, third These are very rare these coins here and uh, It's a shame that this one is broken on this side. You should be able to see the goddess uh, Most likely Victoria My next find is this beautiful keyhole here. It's made out of a copper alloy, beautiful green patina. 
yeah, don't ask me how old it is. Uh, could be a range from the Roman period uh, to the 1800s. Nice little surface find here. Yeah. It's uh, one fennig. From the 1800s. But it's beautiful how it uh, <laughs> lies on the surface here on this field. It's unbelievable. It's the next fragment of a silver zeliqua here. Here you can see the neck of the emperor. And I already checked whether the uh, coins match. Uh, here's uh, the one I found before. And as you can see, they don't. Uh, first I thought, yes, they fit, but uh, it doesn't make sense. As you can see, here's the neck of uh, the emperor of this coin. and. Uh, yeah, here's Constantine from the other coin, so unfortunately they don't match. Another silver. <laughs> ah, great, great. This time it should be a Kreuzer, it got the um, right size for it. It's very mucky as you can see. Uh, but uh, I already know the size of these coins and the appearance, it's quite thin as well. So this is another Kreuzer, I would say. My next find is this beautiful nail here. Look at the design. It's made out of bronze, which is very unusual. It has to be ancient. Maybe a nail that was used to fix uh, leather on a chair, for example, uh, so that you could see the uh, beautiful, beautifully designed uh, nail head. Something like that. Just found this edge piece of pottery here. And please don't ask me what exactly it is, but I recognize uh, this kind of pottery and uh, my archeologist uh, told me um, about it. Um, it's ancient and I found uh, a similar piece earlier. Uh, look at this one here. So um, this is something you always have to do when detecting um, 
you watch the floor anyways so if you come up uh, with some shards uh, it's always uh, appreciated by the archaeologists because they can uh, yeah drag uh, even more uh, information out of these uh, shards uh, than um, from a coin, for example. Yeah, before I picked up uh, the piece of shard, I got a very nice signal here. Let's dig it together. Still in the hole. Oh, oh, guys. <laughs> uh, a lightning, uh, yeah, just went through my body. This was looking so much like a gold coin for a second. Uh. A lot of mystery items today. Um, this one, this one and this one, I hope you can define for me, <laughs> would be great. Um, I'm still on it as well, I hope. I can find out something about it. Here we have a thimble, a decorative uh, bronze nail. Um, here we have a buckle from medieval times. Find of today uh, the missing part of my Celtic Hallstatt bracelet. A keyhole, another wonderful coin weight. This is uh, early medieval uh, disc fibula. Uh, here we have a beautiful um, Fennig from the early 1900s. Um, one silver Kreuzer. This is a um, silver plated uh, Roman coin. Another barbaric radiate. Here we have um, a Zeliqua um, fragment. This is a Zeliqua fragment as well. Yeah, uh, amazing finds again. And as you can see, I had to work hard for the goodies I found. I call it a day. It was uh, lots of fun, as you can imagine. Beautiful finds again. It's a great spot of my field and I hope it will be as productive as it was today. Next time I come here, keep your fingers crossed. It's quite late, but the sun is still out. Uh, my favorite season is knocking on the door. It's uh, springtime and uh, I just love it. Can't wait to get out again. I hope uh, you enjoyed my video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you for watching and until next time, I wish you good luck and happy hunting. Bye bye, au revoir and auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>